In this tutorial, we're going to be demonstrating how to do a simple transformation using the transformation capabilities of the iWay integrator. We're going to start with an XML file. Here, you can see a single repeating element, first name, last name, and address. I say repeating because we have as a root customers, which can obviously be copy and pasted to have additional customers in the file. In order to transform it, we're going to come over to our tutorial, select the Transformer file, choose the Transforms directory, right-click, and then add a new transform. Here we're going to give it a project name. We'll just name it Transform1. In the future, if desired, you can add a description so that others will know what it does. Next, we choose our Transform types. Here we can choose what our sources and target are going to be. The thing you should notice is that this is really an anything to anything transformation tool. I can go from EDI to XML, from JSON to an IDOC, or a CSV file to HTML. In this case, we're going to do XML to XML. The powerful thing about this tool is that regardless of what format I pick, either the to or the from, my experience developing is the same. The transformation is done in the back end, so I'm provided with an interface, a tree-like view of the data, that's going to be consistent even if this is a difficult to read EDI message. Next, we specify what our XML file is. In this case, because it's part of our project, we can click Browse the Workspace for Structure File. Go to Resources, and click my input file that I cut and pasted into the resource directory. If it wasn't already there, we can go to Import and import the file from somewhere else on our hard drive. Often, you'll be provided with an SXD or some other schema, an IDOC, for example, that you may want to map the data to. If so, you select that, then you pre-populate the target with the structure you want to map to. In this case, we're going to keep it blank and hit Finish. Here, you can now see the structure of our input file and the output file. Currently, the output file is non-existent, so let's start writing it. What we're going to do first is we're going to rename the target root. Next, I want to copy and paste over the address information exactly as is. Since the XML file that I'm using could have repeating elements in it, I want to make sure that I add a group that this is all going to be underneath of. So I'll right-click here, then add a new group, and I'll name it Customer. Next, I'll just take the address data and copy over exactly as is, no transformation necessary. So I can come here, click Copy, and then Paste. And as the attributes are copied over, you can immediately see that there's mapping done, so we can see what elements are being put into what target source. Next, I'm going to add customer name. The one simple transformation that we want to do today is that we want to create, instead of first name, last name, a full name field. So I'm going to come to Customer, right-click, add a new element, and we're going to name that element Full Name. Now down at the bottom, you can see the mapping, and currently that mapping is empty. If I were to click on one of the other fields that are already populated with data, I can see the actual mapping here. Customer, customer address, and street, essentially the X path to the source data. In this case, with full name, I'm going to use our map builder. A map builder gives us a graphical way to construct what exactly we want in this new element. There are a number of functions that are available, and all of this is documented on our website. In this case, I just want to create a field with full name, which is first name and last name, so I'm going to click on String Functions. Here, I have a set of different string functions that I can utilize. I want a space in between them, so what I'm going to do is grab Concat with these three inputs and drag that over to the empty field. Now I have three places where I can populate data, and currently it's blank. In order to map it, I'm going to come down here to Input. I'm going to navigate to where first name is and drag that over to the first spot. That's going to replace that empty flag that was pre-populated for us. Next, I'll do that with last name. 
And finally, I'll double click on it and add a space. What you can see here is when I click on string, it brings up this set mapping value. I can either put an expression in there or I can put a constant in so I can type anything I want to here. Since this is first name, last name, I'll just add a space and click OK. At the bottom, you can see we're building out what the function actually is. So if you have something that's being done over and over again with slight variations, you have the capability to skip the wizard and literally copy and paste the function into this box. Now that we've built our function, we want to test this transformation. In order to do that, make sure you're highlighted on the proper window. That is a transformation. Go up to Run As, and I have a choice. I can either do a batch test or a simple test. I'm going to do a simple test because we have one file, and we just want to see it processed through. Next, we're going to choose our input document, which again is that XML file we initially chose. Now we'll hit Run, and here are those test results. I now have full name with John Smith. Obviously, this is a very simple example to familiarize you with the existence of the transformer so that you can experiment on your own.